Oh, well. Good morning. Where's my video? Oh, crap. Camera's closed. Da da. See? I'm telling you. Every single morning. Okay, entertain us with explaining what is the hell is behind you while I adjust my camera. Leadership for retail managers. This is my uh, my way of celebrating my next big thing. So yesterday I had a conversation with uh, my friend that owns a few retail stores. Mm -hmm. And on uh, back, I don't know, a few weeks ago, I sent her a deck called Leadership for Retail Managers, proposed a course idea for her. And uh, she phoned me yesterday and said she loves it. When can she sign up? So I said, well, as soon as I make it. <laughs> So she has six managers and six assist assistant managers that she wants to put through the course. So what's um, uh, what's a course worth? Um, somewhere between four ninety nine and five ninety nine per. I like that. I like so, that. So it's worth six or seven thousand dollars, somewhere in that range. That's fantastic. So I mean, it's not a signed deal or anything, but it's kind of a for lack of a better word, a gentleman's agreement. So I got to get cracking and build the, uh, build a course. <laughs> Fortunately, I have, you know, it's, it's good, like, a good... you're like, you're like a pendulum. You're awesome, but you don't swing like this. You swing in like on, in all of the directions. Yeah. It's a gyroscope. Gyroscope. That's yeah, gyroscope that. pendulum. Yeah. Yes. Yes. It's, um, it's quite amazing, quite amazing. With uh, so, how does that fit into the, your ooh contrast? Is uh, into my coaching business? Well, into into what you signed up for, and yeah. into everything else that you do. Um, well, it, it aligns perfectly with what I'd been doing to this point, partic particularly in terms of trying to figure out how to deliver leadership training to people. Yep. Um, and I think it can tie in perfectly with my coaching business that I'm about to start the training for because I can transition this into ongoing coaching support for her management teams uh, in some way, shape, yeah. or form. I got to I got to figure out what that looks like and what that means. But I mean, this is the prime entry point into a relationship that could be, you know long running i just got to figure out as i go through the course what the parameters so the, the way i'm thinking about it is she'll buy these courses for her teams they'll go through the courses and then i'll offer coaching support uh as a a package you know a 12 month six month or 12 month package for x price which will be you know monthly calls with their managers office hours i don't know whatever whatever way shape or form it takes um, and it's funny because I, I think partly what, I mean, I have a long relationship with this person and we're good friends. So, I mean, that doesn't hurt, but I think too, like she was talking to me uh, off and on over the last few months about different scenarios at work. And I've been able to give her some advice and uh, almost coach her. So I think that's laid some groundwork and foundation for, um, building confidence mm -hmm. in her that, that, you know, this is right up my alley. So. Yeah, I'm, I've like gone from zero to hero overnight almost. So. Wow, that's 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 brilliant. That's that's yeah. brilliant. I mean, it's it's um, you have thought about how you're going to measure it, because this is this is this is totally scalable. Any any small business with any franchise business, for example. No, yeah. no, oh. sorry, sorry, not franchise. Franchise doesn't work. Franchise has the, they don't have their own systems. Yeah. But small business. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna build this in a way that is generic, so that I yeah. can scale it and and sell it. Yeah, but you you, you want to have some sort of a um, goalpost, non probably non sales related goalpost that will make it a no brainer for anyone who wants to sign up to see that this works. That's Greg's dog. Yeah, sorry. I there's a dog down the street, and every time it barks, my dog hears it and he barks. So. This has been going on since... Yeah, they have their own morning power. I was like, damn, yeah, exactly. my owner's talking again. Hold on a second. Brady, shh. Go 
Go lie down. This is the uh, when the need for soundproofing comes into play. Yep. Yep. I'm just trying to get. I'm just trying to get some light here. No, that's so, so are you, you were saying what about uh, goalposts? Well, I'm 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 already thinking a thousand steps beyond what you just said because uh, so this works out. She gives you the green light. You will be able to go in, test out, see how people respond. Obviously, this will lead to you refining your program. So perfect. Yeah. How do you sell it into the next person who doesn't know you? Because you'll need to show results. Like why? It's it's not like uh, it's not like they're investing five hundred dollars a month per person just for the sake of. Yeah, for sure. But you won't, don't sure. want to tie it to sales because you yeah. can't you can't impact their business. It has to be something else. Yeah. So I mean, I, like I've talked to her already about because she was asking me how do how do I price this and whatever. And I, when I was giving her kind of ballpark numbers, and I was saying you know that once I build it and, and she buys it, then I can sell it to other people. And I said, and you'll give me a glowing testimonial. And she's like, oh yeah, whatever, whatever you need. So she's already on board for doing that um you know in terms of the potential market i I haven't thought that far ahead but i know like she's connected with other small business owners herself and and i'm sure she'll help promote that um and then oh you shouldn't limit yourself geographically anyone who speaks english and a small business owner can take advantage oh yeah for sure for sure i mean the the model right now i have in mind is is the same thing i've been trying to do with the other courses is some kind of free mini class that you pay Google ads or LinkedIn ads or Facebook ads, whatever it is. I think in this uh, case, LinkedIn ads would work fine. Yeah. And try to get, uh, get people to attend that. They get a little taste for your thing. I mean, this is what my core, my course is going to help me figure out because a big part of his course is, um, finding and enrolling clients. Right. Right. So, um, hang on a sec. I'll I'll just pa- I'll pause the recording. I got I got a ton of interviews today, and uh, so yesterday yesterday I only had one interview. Two of them. Yeah. One was a miscommunication. She didn't understand that she wanted to be live. She said there would be like a typing on Messenger. So we rescheduled to today. So today, if everything works out, I am looking at. Uh, uh, one, two, three, four, five interviews. Wow. Yeah, and yesterday I had a call with a with a lady who um, who basically burnt out trying to do this, and she was very open in uh, sharing as to how everything worked out. Her her story is almost almost identical to so many other stories that you've hear. Yeah, uh, people wanting to change the world because nutrition is uh, holistic nutrition is great. They end up graduating and finding that um, no one's no one's jumping at them trying to get their services, and they start working multiple jobs. It's like uh, she was working in the supplement section in the store. She was uh, teaching a minimum wage um, to twenty one year olds who who don't give a shit about this at this time in their life. Uh, essentially she burned out and she yeah. gave up and she gave up a career to change to become a holistic nutritionist and um, just didn't work out and she didn't find uh, that there was any meaningful support from school or like uh, employment counseling or any any stuff like that essentially the schools are missing that part you know how universities always connect with employers so yeah. they are try to attract employers to the campus, try to tailor programs to the needs of the employers. And these guys don't. For the most part, they do essentially expect people to fend for themselves. Thus, yeah. unavoidable entrepreneurship. Yeah. So that's good. That sounds like uh, you got a ton of information. Yeah, just from one person. So today it, it's going to continue. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. So is this so far you feel validated 
in terms of your what you're going for? Or are you still using trying to use this to, to figure out exactly? No, I'm uh, well. Thus far, I'm validated. What I'm what I'm what I'm looking for the the biggest uh, opportunity in having these conversations is picking up on the language of actual people who are close to this. Like I'm, I'm looking forward to today's interviews because all of these people have been in the business for one or two years, up to three years. So it's still fresh, that newness. Uh, yeah. And that, that language will help me talk yeah. normally, not uh, from a business MBA business. perspective. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. So yeah. I'm um, I'm 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 happy uh, so far. I didn't. Oh, and I told you all of these responses were to Natalie's post, not to mine. Yeah. Yeah. So I am actually bringing her into this course as uh, as a meaningful part of it. That's good. With so were, were these people like, why is Natalie interviewing me? <laughs> oh no no, she was sitting right no, by okay. me. No no, I, I mean that would be like, who the hell are you? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, hello. <laughs> it's like, yeah, the creepy voice. I don't know. No, you can't do a bait and switch. I mean, all of these people are just raising their hands, so I might as well, not might as well. I need to respect the, 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 their trust. Yeah, for sure. That's great. So have you stopped soliciting people for interviews? I haven't I haven't pulled it down, but I really should because uh, if I so I have five I have five today and then two more on Monday that gives me a pool of seven eight people. Yeah. I was expecting if, if I get three I'll be happy. Wow. So Great. yeah, so that that should be fine. Uh, I told them that I'm doing interviews because I need according to my schedule, Right now, I'm moving into. Uh, luckily, my my course number one is built, and I was reviewing it yesterday. It doesn't. Um, I'm going to re-record the first lesson, and uh, then add some slides to the second lesson. But I don't really need to change it that much uh, for the uh, beta testers. It's so that plus niche, which is which was supposed to be my module two. I'm going to yeah. lump into the beta testers, and then sell them onto the uh, $4,000 course, which is, uh, uh, I use the template to figure out what I'm going to be delivering and it, it's meaningful. You know what, the, what, you know why you can charge thousands of dollars? The only, the only way you can do that is if you are uh, in front of the camera live answering people's questions. Right. In other words, and they work on something tangible. Yeah. A, any courses that you do, which is like, uh, learn at your own pace they can't exceed a thousand dollars yeah so when I, I uh, started going on my guy's stuff so one of the the courses I went in there and he's using Kajabi like I said anyway his first lesson it's like oh there's four things here and I click on them there's no video it's just the text in the uh, thing I'm like you know okay I, I never I never even contemplated that you could have Text. A lesson or slides that was just like okay, just read these few paragraphs. Okay, move on. I mean, this is just like the introduction, the parameters for the course, mm -hmm. things like that. Then I get into the next section. It's a video. I'm like, oh, this is good. It's four hours long. <laughs> what? Yeah, I'm like about four hours. About what? I don't know. It's one video. It's like a, it's. I think it's just a recording of like a half day session that he's done in the past, but it's. This is one of the things I was like not so sure about initially, like right now that I've found this because it's not chunked. It's not really, to me, it's not consumable. No, well, not that, four hours. It's overwhelming. In that format. So I was, I was blown. I was blown away. I was trying to make my lessons like half an hour long or maybe yeah. push it to an hour. Uh, Jenna's advice is like, don't make videos. Don't make it any more than 15 minutes long. 10 minutes is optimal. Yeah, because people lose uh, and her opinion on talking heads, which is what my first two lessons are. Yeah. Uh, she's like, no, I, I we talked about that. Yeah, we yeah, talked about sure. that. So she's like, absolutely yeah. not. And because people begin to fade and if they have nothing to stimulate them in terms of visuals, then they even more begin to fade. Yeah. And uh, she says, we're talking about people need to get a meaningful transformation. Everyone talks about that. And you can't get a meaningful transformation just by listening. You need to 
stimulate thought, give an assignment, and then come back as a group session to review the assignments, talk through different people's perspectives. As soon as yeah. I understand what the value of this program is, because uh, truth be told, I'm going into her videos, and some of the videos are just, they're not polished. Not like there's a video where some 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 sound a beep 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 like like yeah. a like an alarm goes off. Yeah. She didn't edit this out. She didn't re she didn't sit down and re-record that video. Yeah. And yet I am still in this course. I yet I still paid this amount of money. Yeah. But the, the the point is is everything that she has. It can be a six minute video or a four minute video. It's it's steps. Yeah. So it's kind of like I just created a type form, um, like a survey monkey, you know, type form. Yeah. yeah. It's like, this is how you do it. These are the questions. And, she, and then she says, these are the questions you ask. Uh, first, multiple choice. Uh, sorry. First, um, radio buttons. Second, radio buttons. Third, multiple choice. The last two questions you can make open-ended. Right. Never, never start with like, it's like, duh, but... It's good advice. Yeah. It's it's easy to follow because it, it provides confidence that okay, if I follow these steps, then. But it's also it's also oh, I will try this and I will let you know how this works because. Ah, uh, so you and I are Camtasia fans. I am going to tell you where is it. <laughs> Where is it? You heard about the service called Descript? No. Are you shocked? <laughs> well, I haven't heard on, uh, about it until yesterday. Here's a service. It's a screen capture service. Yeah. Probably not as powerful in terms of editing capabilities. I don't know. I haven't tried it yet, so I can't say I uh, can't compare the two. But it's 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 built in into it's built in and it's cloud based. So it when it records, it records straight to the cloud. So it's available as soon as you press stop. Here's the yeah. kicker: it's a monthly service. Uh, I think it's for the pro version, which is the one you would want. It's I think it's sixty nine dollars a month. Cancel any time, obviously. Maybe less. Maybe less. Doesn't matter. It does transcription as you're speaking. Obviously, way better. Not perfect, but nobody's yeah. perfect. No one's perfect. But it does transcription as you speak. Then what happens? When you hit stop, your video shows up here. Your text shows up next to it. You can edit the text and it edits the video. Really? You remove a sentence, boom, that, that piece is removed from the video. Now comes the cool part. This is, the, this is why the pro version is. Click a button and it selects and, and it can auto remove or you can go step by step. All of the uhs, ums, so, now, I mean, I'm, I'm talking about my uh, filler words. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like, it highlights all of them. And you can yeah. highlight the cases, remove them, and it trims the video. Wow. Next step, overdubbing. It scans your voice, understands your inflections and how you speak. And you can create short sentences, type them out, word, boom. Wow. <laughs> Sounds pretty incredible. Yeah, so um, we'll see. You know what I noticed? Uh, in this transcription here, or the the it it, it doesn't record ums and things like that as you're going like. And the way I noticed that was last night I took my filling the experience gap video, yeah. so I edited it, and then I played it back through my speaker into my microphone, into a Google meeting, and had this thing transcribe the whole twenty five minutes. Solid. Did it work out so no, well? Yeah, it worked out pretty well. I haven't gone through the whole thing, but I was for for two or three minutes at the beginning. I was just watching what it was transcribing, and it it was really good. Oh, that's that's actually that's actually a brilliant hack. So now I have 
the, the full text of that thing. Now I'm going to go through it and I got to chunk it up to when I'm talking versus when my wife was talking mm -hmm. and whatever, but it's, and then, uh, and I got to figure out how to import that into Camtasia, but it's, you know, it's, so, it's the first step. It is. So the script, not only does it transcribe, it automatically creates an SRT file. Yeah. So you have captions immediately. Yeah, that's great. Well, the other um, hack I was going to try, because on my phone, the um, teleprompter app that I have, mm -hmm. like basically you load your script in for the teleprompter. Yep. And then after you do your video, you can you can create your SRT file. Okay. From your script. So I was going to then, I was going to upload um, the text that I transcribed into the caption app. Yep run it and have it listen like it would pick up basically the the, the uh, audio from my Camtasia video mm -hmm. and then I would gen generate the SRT file from that app that is cool so it's it's a it's like you know a multiple step multiple program hack mm -hmm. but it gets me the only the time consuming thing is that each time I do it, like to, to get the transcription, like it's a 25 minute video, you have to play the full 25 minutes. Now, I don't have to be around while it's doing it. I can go make a cup of tea and take the dog for a walk. I don't know, whatever, and come back and it's done. Um, and then to get the SRT file, I have to do it again. So it's going to play the, the whole thing a few times, but hey, it, it, yeah. it does all heavy lifting. It does. Yeah, it's cool. Well, yeah, so. I am uh, I am on day. And just... that, that other program sounds awesome. That sounds expensive, though. It yeah. I mean, let me let me let me take it, it. That that is expensive. When you think about Camtasia, like we we spent like three hundred bucks. And it's and it's a uh, one time done. fee. Yeah, we have it forever. So. Oh, sorry. I I lied to you. So monthly it's thirty dollars for the pro version. That that okay. that has the overdub, filler words pro. Audiograms Pro. What the hell is Audiograms? Hmm. Custom colors. Publish Pro. Publish audio video up to three hours long. Batch file export. Export by marker. Paragraph break. Or the whole composition at once. Can you imagine you can export a video by breaks in your paragraphs? Yeah. 30 hours of transcription a month. You can do. You can go with uh, fifteen dollar a month, but that but that really does not. Um, and I'm talking about monthly because if you pay annually, then the pro version is twenty four. So it's um, yeah. Yeah, that's actually that's not too bad. That's not that's not too bad. But it um, yeah, it's interesting. It's one of those things like like we talked about with when I signed up for things like the noun project or whatever, it's like, you realize like I'm spending more time dicking around trying to hack these, these things and resize photos or I don't know, whatever. Yep. If I just paid the 10 bucks a month, it's done in two seconds. So yeah, we're going like back to the conversation of the value of your time. Yeah, exactly. See, the thing is the, the, the way, the way, uh, so Jenna's model, uh, the way she suggests, the reason why she uh, suggests the script is because yeah. it creates um, the transcript yeah. alongside the video. You take that transcript and you send it to the $7 an hour person who is able to do graphic design and they create slides on that text that you just spoke. So you speak freely, edit it, yeah. edit it to your heart's content, or you can have somebody else edit it, but... I wouldn't. I, I don't. I don't know how to give uh, a good guidance on how I want it. Blah blah blah. Yeah. yeah. Then you send it, and they send you back the visuals. Yeah. That's it. You're done. You already have SRT. You have the text. You have the video, which is which becomes a small like uh, thing in 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 a in a corner, and yeah. you and you go through it. Or alternatively, you go through the slides. Uh, or you create slides ahead of time and then you go through them as cues for yourself and then just edit yeah. the end result in audio files. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, it, it, once you start having regular income too, like all these expenses are write-offs in your yeah, business. Yeah, they're right? reducing your, yeah, you're reducing your income. Yeah. So it's not really a, 
it's a cost, but it's 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 not as cumbersome as it is right now for us when you have no income and you're shelling out yeah. money. <laughs> Holy shit! Talk, t- tell me about it. Um, but I did have um, so one of the one of the coaches yesterday, Matt, who um, I'm I'm seeing that my sound level for some reason dropped. Uh, why? Sorry about that, people. I don't know it's why. Because you don't have the blue. You don't have the blue yeti. No, no, no. It's it's it's. Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll have to invest in one of those. I I like the the feeling as if you're in a studio with that microphone hanging. But it's you know it's directional. Those are directional mics. It doesn't pick up the sound around you, which is great. Yeah. Any anyway, so what I was gonna say. Oh man, everyone who's gonna be listening to this is gonna go crazy because the sound level is jumps all over the place. Two, okay. The point I was trying to make is when you're starting out, this is marketing at its best. You look for tools that are out there everywhere everyone talks about. And then you begin to discover that there are some companies that took it way further. But Canva, I, I, re- I recall our initial conversations when I was... Um, I was I was saying that I'm not going to use Canva. I'm going to use the other platform. Yeah. How many downloads does it provide? What was it? Which platform? Beautiful AI. No, no. Um, the the one that designed for specific. I, I saw the designs for specific social channels. I was like, oh my god, this is fantastic. Oh, Snapper. Snapper, yeah. Yeah. Canva doesn't have any restrictions for downloads for free stuff. Yeah. Yeah, Snapper was three downloads yeah. a month or something. That's ridiculous. I was, I was I was I was done in the first ten minutes. That's why I ended up buying it. <laughs> Did you cancel? No, I still use it. I use it every day. Can I, may I ask why? Well, because I have it. Yeah, but you can't cancel, right? Your subscription. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Um. Yeah, so the tools are galore. Tools galore. Yeah. <sighs> Damn. Tons to do. Tons to do. And my son's uh, Montessori school is out for next two weeks as March break. Oh, really? It's. Oh, they're Mar- my kids' March break got moved to April. Yeah, yeah. The school, <laughs> funny. Um, they said that they're going to keep it, not follow the, uh, because, well, Montessori's like school is a name, but it's really is uh, yeah. pre-kindergarten yeah. daycare. So they, they have the, uh, the luxury of setting their own times and so two weeks of entertainment or lack thereof. Uh, uh, you'll look back on these two weeks, you cherish the fond memories. <laughs> I will. I am. Um, I am obviously being facetious. Um, yeah, yeah. It's, hopefully, hopefully the weather's nice anyway, so you guys can get it's outside. Gonna be, it's going to be colder than it was yesterday. It was beautiful yesterday. Plus yeah. plus nineteen. Whew. I know it's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. Oh, plans for the weekend? Um. Yeah, I'm building a leadership for retail managers course. Actually, that's not that's a lie. I don't have time this weekend because I'm actually oh, on my oh, boot yeah. camp. What do you want to so do? Gotta, what do you want to do about Monday? Do you want to move it a bit? No, no, Monday's fine. Okay. Yeah. So you're you're going to say that it. now. I might change my mind and come Sunday evening, but <laughs> well, ping me. Just just let me know. Yeah, we can always. Move I'm it. sure it'll be fine. You're taking so over I, next week for recording. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So I have to so say, I, tactic works yes. works perfectly. Yeah, yeah, I like it. I, so I uh, added it to mine too. That's what I used yesterday to do my transcription. It, yeah, it's really and it's, it's fantastic because I didn't even start it. It does it automatically. Yeah. The uh, I keep forgetting during the day, like you pinged me yesterday that the video was up and I'm like, yeah, thanks. And then uh, I don't know, I got busy or whatever I was doing and it wasn't until like five o'clock almost. I'm like, oh, shit. Oh, it, that's one thing I noticed that you created a, a second version of Crushing It Drive. On, on a different on a different drive I created yeah. on admin at solobusiness.ca 
because the other okay. one was running out of space. Yeah. yeah. So I was using the other one up until yesterday and deleting the files. And I went into that one. And I noticed the first three episodes, I think, were still there. I don't know. Anyway, I'll look at it Wait, again hold on. today. I didn't want to, I didn't delete anything. Wait, there are episodes in the other crushing it? I don't know. I thought that's where I was getting them from. Maybe I I was wrong because things were just showing up on my thing. I, I thought they were on the other crushing it, but I could have been mistaken from the start. Hmm. I don't know. I'll, I'll, those should not be linked because I know where I'm uploading them. And yes, yeah. I, every morning I went in, you said that you deleted. I still saw the file and I thought that that's interesting. Yeah, yeah well, I, I went in and I hit I didn't see delete. I saw remove and I removed it. So I don't know if that's deleting or I don't know what that's doing. It doesn't, doesn't matter. Every every day I upload, I if I see the, the previous version, I know that I've seen that you've uploaded. So I, I'm feel yeah. free to okay, yeah. remove it. Yeah, just it's, clean it up. So one, okay. one click. Sounds okay, good. dude. Are you getting any views on them on your channel? Yeah, two. You? Oh, yeah. Me. Me and you? Yeah. <laughs> Look, I, but at the same at the same time, we're doing the same thing we're doing, and yet all of our channels have daily content with like yeah. thirty plus minutes worth of. Content. And it's long content. Yeah, it's yeah. good for great rankings or I don't know, ratings or whatever. And I'm using I'm using I'm using you using hashtags. Um, no. Ugh. Do you have um? Do you put the put these videos in a in a what's it called? Not a list. Playlist. No. no. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this is the time when I YouTube one hundred and one do the mic drop. Like I'm, I'm gonna do the mic drop. I go into create video, upload, then I come back later and add the end screen thing because it won't let me do it until it's processed, and then I'm done. Yeah, I write a bit of a description. I put uh, three or four hashtags. So uh, entrepreneurship, uh, solo business, and then maybe a couple of hashtags that I think describe the topic of the discussion. So today yeah. is going to be all about video transcription. Cool. And pivots because you decided to pivot again. <laughs> You're going to create mass market confusion. Everyone's like going to be... Team UIP, they're selling real estate as they're teaching me to become a real a retail manager. And then they want me to, to bring my kids into the fold with leadership for teens. God damn it. What is happening? I think of it, it team UIP is a, it's a hub. It's a, it's, you know, like, you know, Walmart doesn't get a bad rap because they sell everything. Yeah. Hold on a second. All right. <laughs> Yeah, compare yourself to Amazon too, because right. essentially you do cloud services with Kajabi. That's right. Um, well, I think I think if anything takes off, you just drop the the rest or put them on the subdomain. It's easy to do. Yeah, I'll I'll figure out what I want to do. I mean, fundamentally, um, and I may change my mind at some point. Who know? Although I'm very stubborn, so I may not. Um, a big part of why I'm doing what I'm doing is because I'm do I want to, I'm, I'm a diva. I want to do what I want to do when I want to do it. So I want to do all these things. So I'm doing them all. Does it make sense? I don't know, but I'm doing it. It's, it's, it's in the captions, man. It's in the captions. You just called yourself a diva and I pretended to I play along. Oh, I'm going to do blend text, type of blenders are the best blenders in the world. I want royalty for that. <laughs> product placement. Yeah, product placement. I wish. Anyway, uh, I got to go. Uh, I'm going to start right. prepping for, uh, where's my wife? Because I need her for these interviews. Are you, are you drinking? Protein? You got your big protein shake or whatever that is yeah. so that you can look legit in front of all your uh, holistic nutritionists that, you know. This is my smooth daily smoothie. <laughs>
<sighs> I love you, man. All right. All right. Have a good weekend. Talk to you Monday. You too. Bye-bye. Enjoy your interviews. See ya.